What's up, guys? It's Lady Calista. Today, we are going to be talking about Resource Hyper and how to do it, how it works, um, and how to make it as easy on you as possible. Now, I've mentioned this in a couple of Mobile Royale videos, but resourcing in this game is tough. And from what I've noticed, a lot of it is wood. So gold isn't as in demand. You automatically produce it. I feel like every time I've gone you know battling like people always have gold sitting on them but it's not the case with wood and as you're progressing wood just becomes really tough to to have enough of if you're trying to move um, up in castle level quickly of course that probably will change as the game progresses but right now if you are in a new kingdom or in a new alliance and you're trying to boost quickly you're probably going to need wood so i've decided to wood hyper um, it is a possibility to hyper in this game. I remember I mentioned that in the very, very first video when I realized that, let me move here, that we only have one of each resource building, right? So there's only one farm. I have my one quarry, quarry, I always mess that one up. One lumber mill, right? So pretty weird. There's also only um, food, stone, wood, and gold in this game. There's no ore. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but you see, we only have one resource building. So I was like, whoa, that's interesting. How are we going to like hyper here? Because it's going to be important. And it totally is, and it's totally doable. So in order to hyper, at this point, I hope that um, people have taken to heart and have at least, at least you know about it. Like there is a video that I created on diplomacy and technology. Technology is super important to hyper, guys. So if you don't understand technology in general, watch that video. Or watch whatever is out there i don't really care like my goal is to help you guys know how to play the game i would love to see like a huge um movement towards like knowledge filled content right like we're all sharing what we're learning and maybe i'm not getting it a thousand percent right maybe i'm missing something totally possible i'm i'm human i'm playing this trying to figure out how to play it right so i can then come back and teach you guys and i'm asking a lot of questions of my alliance um teammates and you know reading up on what other people are saying and then just trying to figure out like what is the best way to do this right so i may not have all the answers and what i'm telling you today might change in another release so as of the end of january when is which is when i'm filming this this is how you would resource hyper so the very first thing i would say is you will go to your technology now let's go through the technology by going through our castle you click diplomacy you click switch tech and i mentioned this in that video basically the blue tech is going to be the technology that is dedicated to resourcing right so you basically would click that click switch and then figure out what are you going to hyper now do not hyper food that is going to be just like the same thing i say in lords never hyper food do not hyper food if you plan on creating troops not worth it you will never there is consumption in this game you are never going to outperform consumption so there's no point, and I will be honest with you, food is not a problem for anybody, and we are making a ton of troops that requires a lot of food, right? And I have yet to see somebody saying, I can't find food, or I'm really short on food. Not at all. It's all stone and it's all wood. So that's only two resources, right? So if you have an alliance, you probably could have half the alliance focus on wood and the other half on stone and empty at the end of the day, and people should be okay. Like, we shouldn't be in such a tight spot if we were a little bit more um kind of on that and it's only two resources so it's not hard like it's in, you're basically in pairs right so i decided to go for wood because that's what i need so what you're going to notice is that i and then by the way guys i mentioned that in that video but when you click switch the first time that you want to switch to another type it's actually free that's why I, i'm kind of cranking out so many videos on this right now because i would hate for somebody to be like i really wish i knew this a week ago like that's gonna suck so I'm trying my best to be able to like get content to you guys quickly, as quickly as I can. Um, so you guys avoid um, making mistakes in the beginning. And I don't even want to call them mistakes because you're going to play this game however you want. There's no really wrong or right way, but there's probably efficient, more efficient ways, right? So that's all I'm trying to do. So um, if, you, if you did mess that up or whatever and you already did it, um, it will require materials, not the end of the world. This only requires, for me, training weapons, which I would get trading. So not a huge deal, but just something to mention. And if you have questions on trading, I do have a video on the airship that talks about all that stuff. Now, what you're going to notice is when I scroll across all my clan cards, everything is wood. 
that is what I am. Everything is also like you also see the red, the fact that I'm all about infirmary capacity, but that is for another video. Um, but yes, I am a wood hyper. I am putting everything on wood um, so I can make. So that's kind of step one. You want a hyper resource, put your technology for that resource. Second step, same as Lord's, except so much easier is let's go to our forge. OK, there's our forge. All right. Now go to set. Go scroll to the bottom. IgG. Thumbs up to you guys because you made this so much easier for us this time around. You can see the gear for stone, the gear for food, the gear for wood, right? And also the gear for hunting and everything else. But we're focusing on this stone and wood, stone and wood, okay? So I basically go to the wood and this is the gear that I need to work on, right? And check out, like if I put it at gold, this is really great production quantity, right? Like 50% increase, 20%, 30%, 25%, 2%. And this is not impossible gear to get at all. Um, let me see if I have it equipped. I do. And that is basically my wood production gear. And I created all of that um, like a day ago, right? With the materials that I had left over. So it wasn't like, I was like, oh my God, I need material boxes, nothing like that. Um, and everybody was in the same boat. Every We started talking about this as an alliance. So everyone started creating hypering um, gear and everyone was landing around like blue, blue level gear. So not bad, right guys? Like we're still getting some pretty good increases here just with that. So that's number two. So number one is make sure your technology is updated. Number two, make sure your gear is updated. Number three is going to be around your traditional economic boost so you can make sure that you put on a wood production quantity boost. You can buy those with guild coins if you wish. They last 24 hours. I'm sure they'll come out with the ones that last a week. I think those exist in Lords probably soon, but they don't exist just yet. Um, but you want to make sure you pop on a production quantity boost and that's going to help as well. The next, that's, so that's number three. Number four is research. So let's go to our administrative research. You can see I'm not giving administrative research a whole lot of love. Um, I've been really focused on warfare like that. I'm actually moving down pretty quickly. Um, but you can see right off the bat, there is stone production research and wood production research. And you can see right now I am stuck on my wood production resource um, research. I can't move it up until I move my research tower to level 23. So I will be stuck there for a little bit. And let me just move further down so you guys can see. You can also increase your storage for that particular resource, which is going to be helpful. And that's pretty much it. But when it comes to hypering, right? Like if you're just hypering and getting rid of it over and over again, this is, you're kind of done here. Like you don't have to keep going further down the path. Okay, so that's another one, your research. So what have we talked about? We have talked about fixing our technology, fixing our gear, popping on a boost, fixing our research. And then the last one that is very unique to this game is going to be production villages. So I've mentioned villages a couple of times. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you actually want a video on just the villages in general. But there are all sorts of villages that are throughout the map. And those villages come in different levels. And the level of the village that you can attack really depends on your chapel. But there are going to be times, and the villages switch out after a certain number of hours. And I don't exactly know how many hours that is. I think it might be every eight hours. There's like new villages that pop up and the old ones go away. Um, but basically, you would look for a production village that is going to give you a boost in the resource that you're hypering. So I know for a fact, last night, I saw a bunch of villages that were giving stone production, found zero for wood. So that told me, okay, they're not like available at the same time maybe when stone goes away wood comes in and they'll be around for x number of hours um yesterday i noticed that they were around for eight hours about it might be more so don't quote me on that i have to make sure that i have that down pat um but there's basically villages for everything but i wanted to also point out there are production villages for resources so if you're hypering wood make sure that you keep an eye out for those production villages the highest level that you can grab right and it depends on how high you can get your chapel but go for the highest level of production village you can transport the villages over to you. So do that, put them right around you, right? You can grab, I think, two. And that's going to increase the amount that you are making of a resource by a ton. When you're close to getting full, ship it over to a friend that's maybe producing something else that they can send you and just kind of keep that cycle going, right? And you want to start building your um, account that way now because it's just going to make it a lot easier because you won't be dipping into your bag so much. 
Um, just take my word for it, given that everyone in my alliance is trying to boost very quickly. Um, it's going to be hard to find those resources, right? And you're not going to be getting them from packs or anything like that, which means that you're going to have a lot of big players looking for people sitting on resources. Um, hopefully this is helpful, letting you guys know how to resource Hyper in the game. Let me know if you found any additional tips or tricks down below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching.